from unknown, my name is Tavis, and the question is, was I wrong about DC's Titans? Spoilers ahead for episode 1. For the ones not in the know, DC's Titans are Warner TV's answer to Netflix Marvel's Defenders franchise, a more adult and grittier take on superheroes. Titans builds on the comic book by the name of Teen Titans, originally created by Bob Haney and Nick Cardi. That saw former sidekicks Robin, Kid Flash, Aqualad, and Wonder Girl team up in their own spin off comic. The comic would expand and evolve over the years, but also built a small but loyal fanbase. Several of the characters had spin off arcs on their own, and over the time, the focus on capturing youth culture took a backseat to actual good storytelling. Flash forward, and the title relaunched as New Teen Titans, headed by Marv Wolfman and George Perez. This version of the Teen Titan has in many ways become the template for any reboot or media crossover. This is when the team saw the introduction of Raven, Cyborg and Starfire as well as making Beast Boy a core member. But Teen Titans had little reach outside their own comic until Cartoon Network launched the Teen Titans animated series. A smash hit and together with the sort of Teen Titans Jung Justice by Wonder Brothers, Teen Titans entered the public mind. So, it was ripe for a grim makeover. And bloody hell did they make it grim and dark. There is no joy or happiness in the entire first episode. And if that is setting the tone for the rest of the series, it will make for a yarring watch. They also failed to balance the gore. It is a bit childish in a way, like a 10 year old, doing his best to top his friend's story by just making everything more. Robin do play out as someone who is entirely emotionally stunted, having fully accepted Batman's way of looking at human life. And that is not to mention Starfire, who is pretty much a amnesiac weapon of mass destruction. But, with all that said, there is a core of something good here. The acting is for the most part good and the visual effects are well above what could be expected for a TV show. In the end, the legs of this show will be fully dependent on the writing. The pace will have to be spot on to counteract the doom and gloom. It will also need to have some humor in it, in my mind. Maybe not supernatural levels of camp, but something to liven it up. Now, we did not see any real Beast Boy outside of a quick cameo. He could be the key to give us a bit more laugh and a bit more levity in the show. Time will tell. And I will revisit the subject at the end of the season. But for now, most of my earlier thoughts stand. It looks good and the characters are likable enough so far. But comparing to the CW shows and its own Teen Titan legacy, it has some big shoes to fill. But that will be it for today. Until next time, stay safe, be kind, and play fair. Bye!